Let's begin with a generalized review of the platform. As we do so, we will realize that the Omniverse is structured to maximize flexibility and excels at delivering fast, efficient workflows. This is especially true as we scale into heavily shared and collaborative use cases. Okay, so at the center of collaboration, we have Omniverse Nucleus. Broadly speaking, it handles user authentication, collaborative services, and data storage. You can think of it as your private cloud for 3D content. Next, we have Omniverse Kit, the framework for developing lean, powerful, workflow-based apps. Broad or narrow, Omniverse Kit is the backbone for all apps on the Omniverse. Omniverse Connect delivers an SDK allowing external DCC applications to become fully integrated on the Omniverse platform. Many common professional 3D DCC tools are already connected, but with the provided SDK, developers can create their own custom application connectors, and they can join the expanding list of Omniverse connectors. Providing scalable, accurate, ray and path traced rendering across apps on the platform is Omniverse RTX. Film quality in real time everywhere on the Omniverse. Lastly, we have Omniverse Simulation for providing high quality, real world physics simulations. Simulate physics, add behaviors, develop AI, and more with a vast array of Omniverse simulation extensions. As we can see, the Omniverse is not a singular entity. Instead, it is an amalgam of apps, connectors, services, extensions, and a renderer. Cohesively fused together, these individual components become the Omniverse platform. When considering usage, we can simplify this even further. Then the structure looks more like this. A nucleus, apps, and connectors, since those are the main avenues by which we will encounter the platform. When looking from this perspective, we see that apps and connectors communicate through a nucleus, and that all communication can be bidirectional. This means whether working in apps or connected DCC applications, users can work simultaneously in real time on any given project. For some users, a specific connector may be all they need, while others may employ many connectors and many apps. At the end of the day, Omniverse can accommodate virtually any combination of tools for a preferred workflow that is right for you. So now that we have a better understanding of how things are structured, let's begin to explore what a nucleus is and how it facilitates multiple users and live workflows, while also providing useful tools to manage data and users on the Omniverse. When you are ready to continue, I'll see you in the next video.